Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, in a dreadful development, Cadbury is sacking 50 workers at its Claremont factory. The simple fact is that the factory would not be downsizing if the coalition government had delivered on its 2013 <coughs> promise to inject $16 million of economic stimulus into the northern suburbs of Hobart through enhancements to the factory. Instead, when Cadbury didn't go ahead with the new visitor centre, the government took the money from the battlers in my electorate and used it elsewhere as a political slush fund. Prime Minister, what will you do to return that stimulus money to Denison? What will you do to help the 50 sacked workers? The Prime yeah. Minister has the call. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the honourable member for his question. And, uh, and like him, we were very sad and disappointed to see the reports today of the job losses at Cadbury's Claremont plant. But the honourable member's uh, his historical account uh, is one from which I must differ. The, the coalition pledged $16 million to upgrades at Cadbury's uh, Tasmanian plant in the lead-up to the 2013 election. That is so. But it is also a matter of public record that Cadbury subsequently withdrew its application for those federal government funds. And the funds were then redirected to a Tasmanian jobs and investment fund. And I'll come back to that in a moment. Now, this is a uh, obviously the decision that's been taken is a commercial matter for Cadbury's parent company, Mondelez. But we understand that these decision, these decisions uh, significantly, grievously impact workers, their families, and the local economy. We're making assistance available to affected workers through the Job Active Service, which is connecting job seekers with employers through a national network of providers in over 1,700 locations, the What's Next online resources and website. And the government is also committed to economic development and creating new jobs in Tasmania. Through the Tasmanian Jobs and Investment Fund, there are 56 business projects expected to create more than 700 new jobs in Tasmania. As the honourable member will recall, the $16 million of federal money was joined with $8 million of state government money to make a $24 million fund. Uh, we're also investing $25 million in the regional jobs and investment package for Tasmania, which is the Prime Minister will resume his seat. The member for Denison on a point of order. Um, uh, uh, speaker, just on relevance, I draw the Prime Minister's attention to the second part of the question about what we can do to help these 50 workers right the now. The member for Denison will resume his seat. Uh, the Prime Minister is being relevant if there's more than if there's numbers of parts to the question. Um, it's uh, a matter for uh, the minister answering the question uh, to address them as they will. The Prime well, Minister has Well, the thank call. you, Mr. Speaker. Actually, just a moment ago, talked about assistance that is available immediately through federal government agencies and programs. But we are also investing $25 million in the regional jobs and investment package for Tasmania, which is now open for applications. We've committed the over $11.3 million for projects in Tasmania under Round 1 of the Building Better Regions Member Fund. For Franklin now, in the Hobart warned. area specifically, I'd note uh, the Tasmania Jobs and Investment Fund is providing $137,000 to Ziggy's Supreme Small Goods, especially small goods retail outlet near Hobart, who were here in Canberra last night at the Taste of Tasmania function that I'm sure many uh, honourable members attended and a million dollars to one atmosphere uh, towards defence equipment manufacturing southeast of Hobart, and that's just to name a few. We are boosting investment and generating jobs in Tasmania, right across Tasmania, just as we are right across the nation.